joke of the day. Hey, Maria, did you hear the one about the broken pencil? No. It was pointless. <laughs> Love that joke. Fruit of the day. Grapefruit. Um. <laughs> How is your grapefruit? Tart. Wow. How is your grapefruit? <laughs> Grapefruity. I really want some sugar. I wonder if it's organic. Did you bring the sticker? <laughs> We're digging through a cup full of peels. It has bunnies on it. There it is. Organic! I need some delicious water. To cure me of my tart grapefruitness. Much better. Hey, we're we're like eating what Dudley ate. Ah, except he was on a diet and we aren't. So I can also eat my salt and vinegar Pringles, and A and W root beer, and other chips, and Twizzlers. And really awful for you MSG ridden top ramen without guilt. Except for the fact that I shouldn't eat that much MSG. These are a few of my favorite things. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> um, Twizzlers are tasty. You really need to comment when we're doing these favorite things segments. I am. Um, Spelliarmus! I mean, that's <laughs> It works! Let's do it again! Flipendo! <laughs> it works! It's on the. It's on the window. It's not. I don't remember where I was, I just saw them and I ate them all. I hope. It was in the cabin though. You can have some now! Just reach into the screen. It's calling to you. I do not recognize him. Really, Mario? How you can possibly know whether... Harry? 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 <laughs> what do you mean? Ron, stab it now! <laughs> but if you just let us... Uh... 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 Pro probit 
he probes. So crude, but effective. You don't understand. There isn't much time. We've got to get into the castle. Dumbledore, I mean your brother, wanted us. But I have done magic outside school. And that concludes today's flipping through Harry Potter and the Death Yell. Welcome to another exciting episode of Harry Potter Flipping. Today we flip through the mysterious and wonderful world of Harry Potter. The Deathly Hallows. Onward! The lift was empty when it arrived. <laughs> then the little lane along which they were walking curved to the left in the heart of the village. A small square was revealed to them. Death's got an invisibility cloak! Harry interrupted again. Ah, oh, she is charmant, your aunt. <laughs> he stopped walking, leaned against the wall, and tried to decide what to do. Sit down, said Umbridge in her soft, silky voice. Dear Padfoot. But that's just silly! <laughs> yeah, maybe I will. Harry fell, panting onto the grass, and scrambled up at once. Griphook, he whispered into the goblin's pointed ear. You sound like Hagrid. And that concludes today's reading of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. <laughs> and now it's time for an intro song discussion with Chocolate in the Library. Where's my hand? <laughs> Draco. Where did you? <laughs> That's not our intro song, <laughs> obviously. <clears throat> so, um, this song, I think I've listened to it very many times because I didn't know what was being said. So I was trying to figure it out for the longest time. And then I figured it out and it just, it's just not the same anymore. But I still listen to it. And I just basically heart talons and tea leaves.